Hello everyone and welcome to another tips session in the tips series that we have. This one is quite interesting. Uh, let me show you what we're going to build. Just going to go to settings here and disable the update output in real time. So I get to have this run button over here. So when I click on this run, see the transition that we have over here. It's an overlay. So basically you have like an image gallery or a list of images or things that you want to have some sort of an overlay. You can see how this basically works to sort of show or reveal the content underneath. Now let's get started. What I'm going to do is that I'm just going to create a div and I will give it a class overlay. I'm just going to create, copy and paste this and change and adding an overlay one sort of uh, class as well here. Now going back to my CSS, I'm just going to say overlay, giving it a width of 100 pix 100 uh, viewport width and then height of 100 viewport height because I want this to basically cover the whole sort of window that we have here. And then I'll set the background to tomato. So you'll see that it kind of looks like this. We have a margin over here. I'm just going to set the position, by the way, to absolute here because I want it to move. Going back to my body, remove the margin on the body by setting it to zero. Now you can see that it kind of covers the whole window over here, right? Now, what I really need to do is basically set the top to zero and then left to zero as well. And now what basically let's create an animation. So let's go to keyframes. I want to throw, so basically I need to move this originally. I need to trans left minus 100 viewport view. So basically what happened is that it shifted itself backwards around here behind the behind the window that we have to the to the width of the window right so minus 100 viewport width right if i make it to 20 for example sorry if i make it to 50 you'll see that it actually covers the half of the viewport over here but let's originally put it on minus 100 viewport width now on the keyframes i set on the zero percentage i'm just going to do nothing on the uh, Five, uh, 50 percent I'm just going to say transform translate and then I'll say 100 viewport width right and then ultimately on 100 I want it to sort of go away on the other side so I will set this to uh, basic sorry here I need to set it to zero because originally it is zero kind of covering the window and then 100 viewport so that it goes out from that area right now if I go ahead here and say keyframe uh, sorry animation and I use these keyframes just kind of maybe name it overlay saying here overlay and then maybe one second you'll see that it's supposed to basically go over the other side I'm just going to set this to update real time and now if I run it, it basically, you, you could see that it actually transforms it over the other side. Let's run it again. You'll see that it actually goes over there. Now the problem here is really that, now the problem is that this translate 100 viewport width apparently doesn't work because supposedly it basically needs to wait a bit and then it comes from you know minus 100 viewport width to you know zero and then to 100 viewport basically maybe i should do this instead of left i should use let's just remove this left and basically i'm just going to use transform translate minus 100 viewport width right let's see what happens now if i run it Yes, now it works fine. So unfortunately, you can't use left minus uh, because it originally sets the original place to that. And then uh, it actually doesn't move it correctly outside of the window. So what you really need to do is that originally you have to move it back using translate to minus 100 viewport width. And then in your animation, basically set it to zero originally to kind of cover the page and then ultimately to 100 viewport so that it goes out of the page, right? 
here we actually had another overlay so what you really need to do is I'm just gonna say overlay one since it already had the overlay it kind of got most of these or all of these you know styles what I need to do maybe is trans just change the background color to be maybe blue violet or whatever you want and then I set the animation delay to something like maybe 0 0.3 seconds right now if I run it you'll see that you have this very cool sort of overlay animation you can also try to change the timing function by setting it to ease in by default it's ease out and you will you will see that you get different results here right by basically playing with this ease in so basically on the other one I'm just going to say ease in out you'll see that we're going to get a completely different results right it actually didn't work because it's already ease in and this one is already ease in if I change it to maybe ease let's see what we get here no still not because it kind of covers this one is ease in it comes pretty slow and then this ease kind of overrides it let's change it to ease out and then this one to ease in out let's see what we get here I'm just changing the delay to maybe six six uh, 0 0.6 milliseconds still not working let's put it to one still not working and the reason why is basically let's just put it ease out and run it no let's see what happened here that changed the equation here for us oh yeah animation delay we unfortunately were putting this ease out on the animation delay but actually it it should be on the animation or in this case it should be on animation timing function right so if I say animation timing function here and set ease out now if I run it you'll see that we have this kind of cool animation but the, the delay is kind of too much I'm just gonna put 0 0.3 and you'll see that we have this cool animation and you can play with these animation delay and animation timing function to get different results so basically if I set this to ease out you'll see that it kind of affects it and when you play with these you will find one of them that feels good for you choose that and uh, yeah here we go so we have this cool sort of transition overlay effect that kind of reveals whatever that is underneath it so i hope you enjoyed this tip and stay tuned subscribe to the channel and have a great day and night